All right, guys, so this is going to end our video in the garage. And if you guys are just tuning into this video now, I'm probably going to make it in two segments, how to clean a fish. And I'm going to show you a couple ways to do it. Well, I'm going to do it the way I do it, but there's a couple ways you can do this. I think my way is the easiest. Instead, of t I take the, uh, the filet off the entire fish with the ribs on it, or leaving it on. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. I think this way is the easiest, so let's just start doing it, and I can explain as I go. All right, so this is the way I do it. And uh, I should should be able to see it pretty good the way I got the angle and the light on top. So this is what I do when I start. First of all, you've got to put your knife under the fin like that. And then you do is you cut straight down on a 45, roughly 45. Oh, I should have sharpened this dull POS. <sighs> okay, and you keep going till you hit the bone. You can feel it right there. So that's about where you bottom out. And you spin the fish around this way. That's nerves. He definitely has been out of the water a long time. He should be dead. But Oh no, it's the neighbor. He wants to know how they were biting today. <laughs> Pretty good. So, okay, so now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna follow the knife about three inches, ah, about an inch and a half, and we'll follow the top of the ribs, and then when we get through the rib cage, like out on the other side, we go all the way through, and then peel it off. You just follow it, and you can feel it. Roughly go in line with the top. You can feel it, feel it, feel it. Definitely a sharper knife is better. And right about there, I think we're basically uh, through it. So you point the knife, like that, and then you angle it down, and you follow the spine all the way out. Just like this, follow the spine, and it'll go out perfect. And that's that. So now, this is, I'm, I'm really, I'm backwards with the camera here. So, I'm gonna try and hold it so you guys can see it better. Oh, I don't have to, this is really weird. Okay, so, uh, you can see probably better like that. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Okay, so. All you do is you feel the ribs on top. You can, if you listen, so you know you're hitting them. So that's perfect. So this is why I like doing it this way. And you follow it all the way down. Oh, is my lighting trash? I don't know about, oh, uh, maybe you can see better that way. Okay, so all you do is keep following it down. You just fillet it off the ribs. As you can still see, all the way down. I'm holding like a pencil, this is weird. Just like that, like that. All the way down. Okay, I gotta switch hands. I can't do it like that, it's really weird. Okay. Through the way, right out the bottom. And you can just, you can feel it the whole way and it's not hard to catch on to this. Just like that. Oh, all the way through. And you just go like that, cut the bottom off. And that's one done. And you can tell we did it pretty good. Like I kind of got, I could have got closer there, but that's kind of awkward. And you follow the spine, see? So that's perfect right there. And the same thing on this side. Go behind the fin. Went on an angle. You can see it's still good. Oh, it's nice. It's so good. Just like that. Oh my gosh. You can feel it. Hit the bone. And the same thing. I like to rest my hand on it this way. Be careful you don't stab yourself, by the way. And then you follow it. Same thing going back. Yeah, please. It's like that. And we're probably through. Go through again. Yeah. Go back, follow it out. Just like that. Now, same situation. You just feel it. Like so. Like that. All the way down. And you can feel it, you hear it. I'm kind of hacking it up, my knife's dull and I can't. It's awkward, but you get the point. Same thing. Oh, this is so weird. Like that. That. Cut it off again. Ugh. There's that one. And that's done. And like I still could have got more there, but it's really hard when I'm trying to show you in the camera here. But that's that one done. And this part's easy. I like doing this part. All you do is you start it best you can, close as you can with your knife, and then on an, about a 45, give or take. And then if it's sharp, which this is not, all you do is just like shimmy it left and right. And hold it down on an angle. Like 
that. Oops. And you can tell you got it all right off. Got. And there's one. Filet. And I always double check, make sure there's no bones. You can feel it. So, now I'm done. One more. And if you get a fin left, that's perfectly fine. You can go like that. Or leave it on. It doesn't really matter. Now we go like this. Angle it. Bits of deepsies. Go like that. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Just like that. Done. Whoops. Oh, that's my bad right there. So that's that again. I missed that. I suck. I know. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Goes in there. And that is that. All right. I hope you learned something. Subscribe. Keep Jess happy. That's the main purpose of doing these videos, right? And I got one more to do. Don't need to watch it twice. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Everything used for gear is always below in the description. And that's about it for this video. So see you next time.